I thought I'd do today is just create a quick video just to kind of go in depth with the um, packages area and also the groups area. Um, so I'll, I'll get going straight away. And first thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you into the groups area of my PT Hub. So the groups area can be a very, very important feature for your business. And the reason being is that using my PT Hub, you, you, within the first 12 months, you will tend to double your client base within the software. However, having things in there from the very beginning is very important to make sure that you're managing your business um, effectively and making sure that it's nice and easy for you. So the three main areas that I'll be focusing on are workout, nutrition, and also client at the top here. So what they pretty much are is you can create a group of workouts or a group of nutrition plans and you can bunch them all together. So it just makes it easier when assigning it to a particular client. So for example, you can see here, I've got a home workout group and the way I've created that group is I go create workout group at the bottom. I can do home workouts. Um, let's do two so we don't get confused on that one. So once I've now created that, you can see this workout group is now populated. All I have to do is click on that group, go manage workouts. I can then pick all of the workouts that I want to add to this particular group. So once you've gone through and you've ticked all that and they've populated there, once you then go back, you can click the three dots next to that and you can assign those to clients. So the great thing about this is that you might have a client that comes on board and is like, I just want some home workouts or whatever that might be. Fantastic. I can just go, OK, Ryan Hallett is now going to have those workouts and they will then populate all onto their profile. So you can now start to see how you can really manage it um, with your clients and especially the more that you have on board. It works the exact same with nutrition. You can put a bunch of nutrition plans together. So for instance, just to kind of give you a couple of examples, you might have a 2000 calorie group. So you've got five or six plans in there maybe that have got 2000 calorie targets with different meals in. Put them in a group because then you can assign them to clients and you can pick all the clients that it's applicable to. And as soon as I hit update, those clients will have access to this straight away. Or you can just create Ryan's nutrition group or the name of your client. You can put a bunch of nutrition plans in there and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to manage. But when it comes to groups, my favorite and probably the most important is client groups. So the fantastic thing about client groups is clients do not know that they are in a client group. Um, the way that we can do this is you go create client group at the bottom. You put the name in. So we'll call this a nice test group it is always good. But you can call this whatever you want. I mean, like you can see here, if I go back quickly, I've got one with all clients, female, June fat loss program, male, membership, test group. Have as many different client groups as you want because they do not know they're in there, but it's going to make everything from management perspective and management purposes a lot easier for you. So let's have a look at this um, test group one. So if I click the three dots next to it and preview, you can now see that I can update clients in here so I can pick which clients are going to be part of this group. I can then at the top maybe assign them workouts, nutrition plans. So if I want to update them all with a nutrition plan with meal plan one, all of those clients will have access to that. And it goes the same with workout groups, programs. So now you can start to see if you um, categorize your clients such as female or male or fat loss, muscle gain, whatever it is that you want to do, you can now start to see how easy it can you can make it for yourself. Because um, you might, for instance, you might have all clients in a membership. So all, the, all of these people are clients that are paying me a monthly membership. If I then go into this particular group, I can now go through and I can... Um, give them more workouts monthly. So every every month I might come in here and say, okay, well, I'm just going to give them another workout and update them. And then once I press save, nice and easy. Which takes me lovely into the chat feature as well and how it is that you can manage this through here because chat feature is one of our more recent features that we've added. But what you can do is when you hit new chat, you can make a private. So that's just a one to one chat with you and your client. You can make a group chat. So, for instance, if I create a group chat, I can pick all of the clients that I want in this particular group chat. Alternatively, if I go broadcast message, I can select a client group. So you can see now that if I click membership um, and I go through and I go, this is my membership group. create broadcast message, I can now send a message and it will ping to them all of them individually. 
So when I then press send, that will then go to all of my clients that were in that particular group and it will send to them individually. It's very different to a group chat because a group chat, you can make a community if you wanted to. So you can pick all of your clients, make a community and they can all chat chat to each other as well as you. With this chat feature, I can hit the plus icon. I can send media as well. So I can maybe send them a photo, video. Um, alternative, I can send a GIF, which is always a good laugh. Um, and also I can send a link here as well. So I can maybe upload some files that I want to send, maybe a workout, nutrition. And also I can say, okay, guys, if you click on here, um, that will take them directly to that package which they can purchase. So hopefully that gives you a few different ideas on how you can use the group feature, how it then interacts with the chat. But I think what I've mostly wanted to cover on this particular video anyway is the packages area because I think this is something that's very common um, and a lot of trainers want to know how it is that they can make the best out of this. So for me personally, um, this is all connected through Stripe. And as I said, like Stripe are a very, very good payment provider. If you've got a Stripe account, it's really nice and easy just to quickly connect them up. Um, if you don't have a Stripe account, you can create one. It takes probably about five or 10 minutes or so. It's a nice and quick process. So I just want to give you a little bit of background on here. Um, when you go through and create your Stripe account, you have two options. You've got personal account, which you can see I'm in at the top here. But you also have the option to switch your account as well, which you can create a company account. The only reason you'd use a company account is if you've got additional trainers and you want all of the funds to go into the same Stripe account. But be careful because on the company account, you can only sell sessions and credits. But if it's just you as a single trainer, the only thing you want to use is the personal account. So when you go into this particular area, you have the option of create package at the bottom. The first thing you'll be greeted with is, is this the credit package? What is very important about this stage is that you can see that when I click this, the assignment tab goes because the only thing that you can assign to credit packages are credits, which makes sense. The good thing about a credit package is clients can buy this as many times as they want from you. They could buy a credit package now and then they can maybe buy a credit package that will start again in probably, I don't know, and they, well, they can buy again in about five, 10 minutes or whatever that might, whatever that might be. So going through from here, um, I'm just going to show you a few different examples of what I've created and how it is that you can set these up. So when it goes into this first page, this is a credit package, which you can see that there's no assignments. It's called a one online class pass. The first page, which is details, is just making it look as nice as you want it to be. So you can add a photo, you can put a package name, a short description and long description. So this is just giving the clients information of what it is that they're buying from you. You can even put a promotional photo of um, promotional photo here and a promotional video at the bottom as well, which can be hosted on either YouTube um, or Vimeo. You then go into availability and availability. The main thing I would watch out for here is private or public. So private, this just means that the clients you've already got on the database will be able to purchase this from you. So all of the clients you've got in your contacts area here, they will only be able to view and buy that from you. However, if you set it as public, this means that anyone in the world can buy it from you. And I'll show you when we get into the next couple of packages, how it is that you can um, sell those on your social media and all that sort of stuff, because I know that's a big thing at the moment. So is this a package available from now? And is it a pack available to purchase all the time? So these are two very important things here. Because I personally, for this particular package, I want people to buy this whenever they want. There's going to be no end date and start date of when this package is going to be viewable to purchase. So I'm going to leave these two as they are. I can invite clients to a package. So if I go, okay, all clients, this is my client group, or maybe I want to pick individual clients. What this will do, this will send them an email saying, here's a new package available. Click this link to buy it. You then go into pricing. And with a credit package, it will be a very basic page, this. So you have the option to put unlimited credits. Personally, for me, unless they're paying you a lump sum, I wouldn't include in unlimited credits here just because this is going to be for me personally a one online class pass. So my, to be able to attain, attend one of my events, it's normally 10 credits. So when they go to the calendar, if they want to book into my live workout or a boot camp class, it's going to be 10 credits. I'm, I'm going to charge £10 for this or $10. And it will match. I always match it up with the same credits. I always match my price with the credit value. And once I hit update packages, um, you can see that that package has now been created. So from the client's perspective, they go into the marketplace on their app and they can buy this from me. To give you another example of one I've created, which is not a credit package. So we now have this assignment tab. I mean, on the first screen under details, you'll see that all of the information is the same. So 
this is the page where you can just put as much information as you want and this is how you sell it to your clients so put as much information in here as you can when I now go to assignments you can see I can put programs workouts nutrition plans client groups and files so for me this is an eight week home workout so I am going to put a program in here so in this program I've got an eight week fat loss program I'm going to give the clients an opportunity to start this program when they want so I want them to be able to go through um, buy this package from me and they can then start this program maybe on Monday when Tuesday whenever it is it's going to be best for them I could if I wanted to have a program which starts on maybe the 1st of June the only thing I'll be say say about that is that make sure under availability you um, put the date that they can buy this up until maybe the 31st of May because otherwise you might have a slight overlap but so that's fine I'm gonna and also I want to remove workouts and nutrition plans once ended yes I do want to do this because I want them to buy something else from me once this package is finished so I want them to be able to go okay well once that program is finished we can then remove the workouts and nutrition plans from their profile um, and they can then go into the marketplace and maybe buy another package from me the very important one here is that you have client groups so you can automatically filter people that buy this package from you into a client group so you can see I've got um, one that's going to go into June fat loss program and all clients the reason I'm going to do this and I'll show make it very clear to you later on is that if I automatically filter people into a client group I can then either manage them within the client group especially if it's a membership or alternatively I can market those people after and I can send a message to them whether it's via broadcast saying how did you get on do you want to set by another program from me alternatively if you go to the um, availability you can invite clients to it so I can maybe invite a client group which I know previously have bought something from me so just giving you a couple of different options there but this time when you go to pricing you have a lot more information so you can say is this package free no I want people to pay for this you can do recurring payments set period of time or the package so it doesn't expire so they buy this and they have access to this all the time but for me I'm gonna put this as last eight weeks so let's leave that as eight weeks, not 18. Um, you can list the number of sales. So you can say, okay, I want a cap on how many people can buy this. For me, no, personally, I want loads of people to buy this from me. I'm not going to allocate any sessions or credits to this package because it's not necessary. And I'm going to charge $79.98 for this particular package. So if I then go into update package, that package has now been created. Anyone that buys this from me will be um, able to set themselves up an account. They'll have access to the program. And the way, because I've put this as public, the way that we can put this on our social media is by clicking the three dots next to it and we get get share link. And this link at the bottom is the one that you'll put on your social. So all clients will do is click on that link. They will go through, buy that package from you, set themselves up account, and they will have access to that package for eight weeks with an eight week program. So which is a really good way of doing it. Just to kind of give you another couple of examples of how it is we can do it. So I, I, this one I've got as monthly membership. So what I've done here is I've put basic information, but once again, you can put whatever stuff that you want. So say what, what sort of stuff they're gonna get included within this membership. I'm not gonna assign anything to it apart from a client group. So what happens is now is that anyone that buys this package from me is gonna go straight into this membership category. And the reason I'm doing it that way is because I can go into my group once they have purchased it and I can update them with workouts or I can send them messages all through that particular area so I mean I could just potentially give them a couple of different workouts so when they buy this from me they get that straight away but for management purposes I'm going to do that through the client group under availability um, I'm going to put this as private because I only want people that are buying a membership from me just to be um, clients I've already got on board so my 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 eight-week program I sold is a digital product I will now want to try and convert them into a monthly membership so you can see now when it goes do, do you want to invite clients to a package yes I do I want to invite everyone that did my June fat loss program so now you can start to see how you can make it really nice and easy for you for marketing purposes and the more you build up your client base put them into groups you can start to market your clients a lot easier when I go to pricing, uh, this time I'm going to put it as a recurring payment. I can do it as monthly, weekly, however it is that you want to do, and I can make it indefinite. So this payment is just going to keep on being collected until my client um, stops the program or stops the package, or I do. 
I'm not going to in include any sale, a number of sales. You might, if you want to have a cap on it, like say you only want 20 people being able to buy this from you, you might want to do that. It's entirely up to you what you best feel can manage. Um, I'm not going to allocate any sessions or credits to this and I can update the package. So that means that anyone can go into my marketplace now, they can buy that package from me. Um, just two more different programs uh, or packages, sorry, that I want to show you is the membership to classes. So everything is the same as my previous one. However, when I go to pricing this time, I can set up unlimited credits. So this time I can do, okay, do you want to allocate credits to this package? Yes, I do. Do you want to do unlimited credits? Yes, I do. So what we can do now is that I can give unlimited credits. I can select which events they can go to. And now all the time that this monthly payment is coming out and they're on this package, they have unlimited credits. They can book into as many events as I want. And once I hit update package, clients can go in and purchase that. They will get a monthly payment automatically collected from their card and they will have access to those unlimited credits. Um, just another different approach to this as well is that you have a you have the option to create a free package so you can call this sign up package you can just give this link to your clients because it doesn't require any card details and say okay click this and you can create your own account that's if you don't want to go through manually and add them all via the contacts area but i every we all know that trainers and clients especially love free stuff um and I think this is very important in, in growing your client base, especially if you're new starting out. So we'll call this a free trial package. You might want to assign maybe a two week program in here. Um, you might want just to assign some workouts to get them started. You can then also assign them to a client group. You might want to say, OK, this is going to go into all clients category. But let's say I called this test group the free trial, um, free trial clients. What I can then do is I can then say, okay, right, when I go to pricing, well, availability, firstly, I'm going to put this as public because I want to be able to put this on my socials. Um, but when I go to pricing, I'm going to put this as a free package. So this means no card details are required. It's only going to last seven days and I'm not going to put any number of sales or anything at all like that. But when I go to update package now, that free package is created. It's going to last seven days and you can click the three dots next to it and you can get the share link. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. But you can get the share link and I can now put this on my social media and say, guys, click on this link. You won't require any card details. You can sign yourself up an account seven days and so on. But now because they're in a free trial group, I might want to go to the broadcast and go to my chat and say, OK, right, I'm going to send a message to all of those people that signed up for the free trial and I'm going to try and convert them to either monthly membership or maybe a digital product that I've created, which is a home program. Um, just to cover another couple of different details that I can show you or another key feature is the vouchers. So when you create a voucher, um, you have the option to discount your client's payments. I mean, which is brilliant. So for instance, I might want to go 100% off. Um, so let's do this. The percentage uh, 100 off is going to be the code. It's going to be 100% uh, off. And you have two different options, either one time or forever. One time, this is both to do with recurring payments. So one time just means the first payment will be discounted. So you can say, or you could advertise this as first payment free, and then it'll be a recurring payment after. Alternatively, I can do forever, and I can maybe put 10 off, and I get 10% off all future payments. So you can really start to advertise this and say, okay, right now this has been, been created. Um, I can go back, I've already created one with 10 off, that's probably why. But you can now say, post that on your social media and say, guys, if you click on this link, you can buy the package um, and you can use this code and it will give you 100% of the first payment or so on. So it really expands that for the advertising purposes. You also then have the builder feature. I mean, um, this will create a package for you. If you go through, you click all the details, what it's going to do is it's going to create a package um, with a program in which you can sell. So you can literally jump on here straight away. We can create a program, you set the price, because it goes down to the bottom, you can set the price, it'll create your package and you can start selling that on your social media as well. So I thought I'd just give you a quick idea of what the builder feature is. But guys, I hope this is giving you some quick tips. I know it's a quick, short, 20 minute video um, in uh, giving you a quick overview of how the packages, groups, and also the chat can be merged into one and how you can really sell your services. But I hope this has helped guys. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching my video. It's much appreciated, thank you.